and we welcome you back to Minor League Baseball, the show. It is our third and final game of the three-game set with the visiting San Antonio Missions and your Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Well, tomorrow, the San Antonio Missions face off the visiting Midland Rockhounds at Oak Street Park for a four game set to kick off the eight game set at home. Go online now and purchase and print your tickets from home. Also follow the San Antonio missions all season long as on the first pitch app on minor league baseball you can download that on any smartphone. Well It is a good evening for baseball and most likely partly cloudy skies in the forecast. All right, get out your scorecards. Here is tonight's starting lineups. First for the visiting San Antonio Missions. Leading off and playing in shortstop, Steve Chavez. Chavez is short. Designated hitter Boone Devine will bat second for San Antonio. Devine, the DH. Christian Villaneva will be batting third for San Antonio. Villaneva at third. Center fielder Carmen Zapata will bat fourth for San Antonio. Zapata at center. Leroy Ochoa will be batting fifth for San Antonio. Ochoa at first. Left fielder Alan Cordoba will be batting six for the mission lineup tonight. Cordoba at left. Batting seventh is the cleanup hitter and the catcher Manuel Rancon. Rancon in cleanup and in catching. Batting eighth for San Antonio is the right fielder Brian Valdez. Valdez at right. Batting ninth in the second baseman, rounding out the batting order for the San Antonio Missions, George Aponte. Aponte as second. And on the mound for San Antonio, Hank Schneider. Schneider, tonight's Missions pitcher. And now here's your starting lineup for the Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Leading off and playing in shortstop. Thomas Valentin, Valentin as short. Raymond Rodriguez will bat second for Northwest Arkansas. Rodriguez at third. Batting third for Northwest Arkansas, left fielder Freddie Fletcher will bat third for Northwest Arkansas. Fletcher at left. Ray Stacy will bat fourth for the Naturals lineup. Stacy, the DH. Tyler Collins will be the right fielder as he'll bat fifth for Northwest Arkansas. Collins, a right. Brian De La Rosa will bat sixth for Northwest Arkansas. De La Rosa, at first. Batting seventh is the catcher, Ellis Gutierrez. Gutierrez, a catching. Batting eighth is the center fielder, Charles Bahalidia. Bahalidia at eighth at center. And batting ninth in the second baseman, rounding out the batting order for Northwest Arkansas, Elvis Guerrero. And on the mound for Northwest Arkansas Naturals, Sam Gavigilio. Gavigilio, tonight's Northwest Arkansas Naturals pitcher. And there is your starting lineups. We are. 
are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Northwest Arkansas Naturals and the San Antonio Missions. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Hank Schneider, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the ball here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. At the plate, Thomas Valentin. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Thomas Valentin. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Soft liner towards short. And a good throw gets him one gone. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What's this club going to need to focus on this evening, Mark? A huge key I see for this lineup is they're going to have to make this defense work. They're not afraid to kick a baseball around. If they can put the ball in play and make this defense beat themselves, they don't even have to worry about running into a three-run homer. Standing in, Ramon Rodriguez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And a curveball that time that broke too low. The 1-0. Hit on the ground to third. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Well executed two-seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Stepping in, Freddie Fletcher, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit in the air to center field. Zapata has a beat on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Sam Gavilio, the right-hander out of the state of Oregon, gets the ball in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Striding into the box, Steve Chavez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First delivery to him on the way. Grounded to first. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first. After their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board, boys are flying around. Standing in now, Boone Devine, high in the air out to center field. Fidelia is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the key for a home victory tonight, d -Row? Yeah, you take a look at this lineup they're running out today, and they got their work cut out for them with the sinker baller on the mound on the opposition side. They're going to have to see the ball up. They're going to have to work the home plate umpire. Can't be given four to six inches off the inside half, or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see right out of the chute if he's got the good one or not. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Shot weakly to the left. He's right there. The second for one. And nearly a double play. That was closer than I thought it would be, and the inning will continue. 
So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster, so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. From the stretch, skied in the air to straightaway left. Fletcher has a beat on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. An inning in the books, scoreless on MLB Network. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ray Stacy. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Ray Stacy. First pitch of the at bat. Nope, and he ball. lays off there 1 0. Yeah. And a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike. That's a real good job of going back to back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Hit hard to short. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. And be on the lookout today because the best arm in the outfield resides in left field. Usually not the norm, but you better not test this guy. Not only does he have a strong arm, very, very accurate as well. At the play, Tyler Collins. First pitch coming, here it is. Pretty well hit, deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats, foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and now a ball hit pretty well down that right field line. This has some carry to it, and it is gone! Home run! A solo shot down the line in right. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Wow, he really hit that ball well. Put a great swing on it with great extension, and it sailed right out of here. Into the box now, Ryan De La Rosa. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One out, nobody on. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. In now, Ellis Gutierrez. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and it's a foul ball. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. One pitch on its way. Missed with a breaking ball. Tried to go with the nasty backdoor breaking ball right there. Good job by the batter to take that pitch. Work the count even. A ball and two strikes. Hey, he's not going to get away with that all day. He's got to find a way to get on top of that ball and bury it. Two out, nobody on. Oh, 
hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Into the box, Charles Fidelia. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Sent on the ground out to second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Northwest Arkansas out in front, one to nothing. Ready now, Leroy Ochoa, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Leroy Ochoa. First delivery to him on the way. Start of that swing a bit too early. Hey, if he's going to be able to dot up his sinker down in a way like that all game, you are in for a situation where you're going to see a lot of ground balls. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Got him. That is it. Left fielder, Alan Cordova. Alan Cordova hits next. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line toward center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. That's the game plan right there. Elevate the sinker from the offensive standpoint. That's what they talked about in the hitters meeting. And on the flip side, if the pitcher doesn't get that pitch down, there's going to be a call to the pen short. Standing in now, Manuel Rincon hit back toward the mound. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Yeah, and I think this is the case of a guy trying to rush it, hoping to turn a double play. And instead of getting two outs, they get zero outs, and runners are on first and second. Into the box now, Brian Valdez swung on and hit in the air to left. Fletcher on the move. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the Second inning. Standing in, George Aponte, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Sent on the ground out to second. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a base hit. Also one error in the inning, but two men left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Naturals lead it one to nothing. Now to the plate, Elvis Guerrero. Second baseman. Elvis Guerrero. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ground ball left side. Chavez in the hole. And they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. But nice execution. Nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. One there, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Well, he showed right there, why He's such a tough guy to double up. He can fly, and he busted it down the line, so they just get the one out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's a strike to throw down. 
And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. And he's going to make it easily. It's a stand-up triple. Last pitch was a fastball. Right. Tries to double up with the same piece of cheese, and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hit. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Rodriguez stands at third with one gone in the inning. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. In now, Ray Stacy. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. 0-1, here's the pitch. Behind 0-2 now. Two outs here with the runner at third. He struck him out, and it could have been worse. The inning over with only a run coming across to score. So one run here on two hits, one error, and one man left on base. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Northwest Arkansas out in front, two to nothing. Striding in once again, Steve Chavez. He reached on a single in his first try. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now here's the ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they cut the lead in half, it's 2-1 now. Well, when you groove the first pitch a strike, these hitters are going to make you pay. Something tells me I don't have to tell the guy on the mound that anymore. That hurts. Stepping in now, Boone Devine. As he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two-seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Standing in now, Christian Villanueva. He swings and lines it to left. Fletcher has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Center field number 34. Carmen Zapata. Ready for another chance. Carmen Zapata as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First delivery to him on the way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. The relay. It's a third now, but he's safe as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. As we take a look here, it's just a good piece of hitting and good hustle. Driving the second run of the inning home and putting himself 90 feet away with just one out. Into the box now, Leroy Ochoa. Soft liner towards center. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. 
boy, D. Rowe, that's the case right there. He hit it just like he thought it. Soft. Not hit all that hard, but it gets the runner in from third. Yeah, but you know what? Tomorrow's newspapers are going to be wrapping fish, so who cares? I don't care if it's a bullet or off the fists. A knock's a knock, especially when it's got an RBI attached to it. Alan Cordoba hits next. Oh, that liner drilled the pitcher right on the mound. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Now batting, catcher, Manuel. Digging in for his second at bat, Manuel Rincon, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit back up the middle. Diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And a relay home is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. So they pick up three runs on five hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Three innings complete. San Antonio's out in front, three to two. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tyler Collins. We begin the top of the fourth. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Hit down the line at first. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. And sometimes when you're down like they are, you've got to find a way to spark your offense any way you can. Now they've got the leadoff man on base and the starter working from the stretch. We'll see if this ignites them a little bit. In now, Brian De La Rosa, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Comes set, and the 0-1. It's a fastball that misses. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. A ball and two strikes now. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Breaking oh, ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Into the box, Ellis Gutierrez. No balls and a strike to count. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Stepping in now, Charles Fidelia, as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. I'm set with the 0 and 1. And a breaking ball stays outside. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. That's lifted the other way out to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he's in there safely. As a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give this guy a third a chance. Digging in to try it again. Elvis Guerrero. A high fastball is in there. Big 
big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Two mid 90s fastballs, and you're down 0 2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pop commit. You're either all in on another fastball, or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Count is 1 and 2 now. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are all tied at three apiece. Striding in, Ryan Valdez. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Ryan Valdez. First pitch coming, here it is. Drilled on the ground to short. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Now batting, second baseman, George Aponte. Stepping into the box, George Aponte. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Into right field, that's a base hit. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Into the box now, Steve Chavez. High in the air out to center field. Fidelia is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. But hitter, Boone Digging in once again, Boone Devine. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now batting, third baseman, Christian Villanueva. Ready once again, Christian Villanueva. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Fidelia has it in his tracks. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Thomas Valentin. There's a shot out to right center field. Around first, digging for two. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. And he'll make it in there safely as he starts out the fifth with a leadoff triple. Talk about auspicious beginnings. That's the way to start at inning, folks. Drives it into the gap at right center, and you see when it rolls to the wall, he puts it into another gear and legs out a triple. There are a lot of ways to score from third with no outs. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Ramon Rodriguez becomes the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. 0-1, here it comes. Behind 0-2 now. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home.
In now, Ray Stacy. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. No hits to this point. Now the 1-0. One and one the count now. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. Two balls and a strike now. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. Zapata sprinting after it, and he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Carmen Zapata. Center fielder, Carmen Zapata. First pitch on its way. On the ground to third. Scooped up on the backhand. And that's out number one. First baseman, number eight, Leroy Ochoa. Ready for another shot now, Leroy Ochoa. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He threw first and hustling for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he is in there. So stepping in, Alan Cordoba, a hit in two tries so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, Collins. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And it's not in time. He's safe as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Manuel Digging in and looking for more, Manuel Rincon. He singled his last time up. Sent on the ground out to second. Guerrero takes it in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The missions lead it four to three. Tyler Collins will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And it's fouled away. Wind up and the 0 1. Missed with a breaking ball. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Lifted down the line in left. Cordoba is after it, and no one will track it down. The 1 2. Misses. Ball 2. Hit out towards second. Aponte moving to his right. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. First base for number 17. Ryan now batting, Brian De La Rosa. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one just missed outside. The 1 0 home. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. One ball, one Four strike. three our score here as we play inning number six. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. I mean that's almost an unhittable pitch right there. The downward action of that nasty split finger add in the velocity in the high 80s. You ain't doing much with that. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. The batter. Catherine Ellis 
Gutierrez. Into the box now, Ellis Gutierrez. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. First offering on its way. And takes a fastball on the inside corner. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And oh, that misses 1-1. One and one. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two is laid off for ball two. Here now the two two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Now the three and two pitch. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. You're Ken Yamaguchi enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number four. Ken Yamaguchi. So coming to the plate, Ryan Valdez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Right fielder. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Fidelia has a beat on it. He's got it one away. This guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Into the box now, George Aponte. First delivery to him on the way. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's the second out. Now batting, Georgetown, Steve Chavez. Steve Chavez will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Back here for Texas League Baseball on MLB Network. Seventh inning straight ahead, but first let's take a look at the game summary for the first six innings of baseball. Leading off the inning, Charles Fidelia, and they'll need him to get something going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Another 0 2. Lifted into center field. Zapata has a read on it. One away. At the plate, Elvis Guerrero. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Pitch on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Hey. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And a One wasted ball. pitch there, 1-2. Not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2 a fastball and I think as a hitter right now you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball swinging a soft liner that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Now 
So a pivotal moment here in digging in now. Thomas Valentin, and he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. That was a curveball that never really broke, stayed high. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside the throw, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Hit hard to third. Dean Weber fields it cleanly. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Third baseman number 24, Ramon. Digging Rodriguez. in the switch hitter, Ramon Rodriguez. He'll swing it from the left side right here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Boone Devine. Designated hitter, Boone Devine. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded back up the middle. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Now batting. So striding forward now, Christian Villanueva. He's set. Here it comes. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Carmen Zapata. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the belt, the pitch. On a big swing, and he crushes this ball deep. My goodness, a long home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left, and it's now six to three. I'm sure you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. Standing in now, Leroy Ochoa. He swings and grounds it to short. Valentin ranges to his left. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, left fielder, Alan Cordova. Riding in once again, Alan Cordova. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First offering on its way. It's a strike. All ones the count. The wind up and the 0 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Valentin up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run home run. We'll march on to the eighth as they've doubled up now. It's six to three. Leading off the inning, Freddie Fletcher, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Ball one to start the at-bat. Now the 1-0. It's a good fastball, swung on and missed. Yeah, Matty, not only is this guy using all four quadrants, he's elevating, getting their eye level up with a quality fastball. The 1-1. One, one. one ball and two strikes to count.
the one two is looked at for ball number two the two two is looked at and the count moves full one of the things you want to do with a starter get that pitch count up here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes and here's a ball hit in the air but no chance to run it down it's a foul ball that fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight Ready for another shot now. Ray Stacy. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Line drive to center field. And he'll break through with a solid knock here. His first of the ball game. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the baseball, and was able to fight off a good, nice executed pitch for a knock. Stepping in now, Tyler Collins, as it's on the ground toward the hole. And he's safe. You know, Dero, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery, made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's going to buy him? He's going to buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second. Wasn't meant to be. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Hit hard, but foul. First and second now, one man out. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing the bat at that pitch. Fouled off. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And another foul ball. Runners are at first and second with one away. Hit in the air down the right field line. Valdez is in pursuit. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Now batting, Captain Ellis Gutierrez. Digging in to try it again, Ellis Gutierrez. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And they'll start things out with a change up here, but this is a bit too tight. It's ball one. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. The 2-0 on the way is in there for strike one. Runners at the corners, two men out. Swing and a liner into right center. That's going to be a base hit. In to score easily is the runner from third, and don't look now. They've cut the lead down to two. And he's in safely at third. As a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Ready once again, Charles Fidelia in a big at-bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Runners on first and third, two away. Line drive, base hit. In to score, the runner from third. And he's in safely to third as they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. Now 
Hey, D. Well, I think we got a case right now. This team, they're just feasting on a pitcher that he's given up some runs. It looks like he's starting to get a little bit tired, leaving some of these pitches up in the zone. Yeah, and I think there's a fight at the bat rack right now. Guys are licking their chops, knowing he's a little bit tired, going to leave stuff over the middle of the plate. Won't be surprised to see the bullpen get going. Now, here comes the skipper out of the first base dugout heading for the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So as he departs, his fate is still up in the air. He could stand to win it. He could get a no decision. He could even be on the hook for the loss if both runners come around to score. Number 43. He's down. Into the box, Elvis Guerrero, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. A ball and a strike. Big spot, two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. In for strike two. Trying to keep the one run lead. Here it is. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. San Antonio's out in front. Six to five. Your attention please. Now pitching for Northwest Arkansas. Number 29. Robinson. Medina. Digging in once again, Manuel Rincon. Catcher, Manuel Rincon. First delivery to him on the way. And a good first pitch as he gets him to bounce one on the ground out towards second. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. The right fielder, number seven, Brian Valdez. Ready for another chance, Brian Valdez. He flew out in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Hit on the ground to third. Rodriguez fields it cleanly on to first, and there are two down. Now batting. Second baseman, George Aponte. At the plate, George Aponte. Now here it comes. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Fletcher waits on it, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. The missions lead it six to five. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Thomas Ballanton, and they'll need him to get something going here. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. The wind up and the 0 1. 
And the changeup is way low that time. The 1-1 home. Lifted the other way to left center. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. The pitch. Nope. And a fastball oh. mm, just misses. It's 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One Waves and misses for strike number two. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, you gotta love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's gonna have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. In now, Freddie Fletcher. And that misses for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Cold strike on the change, 2 and 1. Love the pitch call there, 2 0. You know the guys like tonight. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, they do them a little bit earlier in this one. But he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save. Job well. Well, as the final game concludes here tonight, the San Antonio Missions took Game 3 with a one-run win. Well, tomorrow the Midland Rockhounds are coming to face the San Antonio Missions once again. Well, before we get ready to go from North Dark and Cell. We're going to go over runs, hits, and errors. An error. Nobody on base. With the San Antonio Missions, six runs on 12 hits, one error. They left no one on base. Well, tomorrow, we might do an early game tomorrow. Or just wait until tomorrow evening to get the games going. But we'll keep y'all up to date and also posted on the developments of what is going on. Well, our final score from Northwest Arkansas. The Northwest Arkansas Naturals 5 and the San Antonio Missions. Six. Hope everybody has a good night, and we'll see y'all back again tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.